Hi, this is Sue Berg from Monroe County Extension Service here in Bloomington, and we're uh, here to some ideas of putting food by by pickling. And <clears throat> we're hoping that you will be able to enjoy some of the uh, secrets and tips to make pickling fun and enjoyable and also create some neat gifts uh, as you get ready for holiday time or as a hostess gift when you go and visit. Mm -hmm. And I, friend, I have my friend here with me, Stephanie. And Stephanie, would you like to tell us a little yeah. bit about yourself? I'm Stephanie Solomon. I'm the Assistant Director of Mother Hubbard's Cupboard. We're a food pantry with a focus on uh, nutritious food and self-sufficiency through gardening and whole foods. Um, so we're so excited to partner with the Extension Office and with Sue um, to learn more about how we and our clients can be more self-sufficient. Great. Well, we hope, hopefully that we will give you some tips, especially on food safety, so that when you do your, your canning and your pickling, that you will have successful products and also be healthy in the process. Mm -hmm. And pickling is something that can be a lot of fun in lots of different combinations. And one of the things we can't emphasize enough is that when you're first starting to do your pickling, you need to make sure you follow research-based recipes so that we can keep everything on a food safe level. Right. Pickling creates an acid level to any kind of food that you put in the pickling process. But one of the things in order to pickle, most of our vegetables and fruits that we might pickle contain a lot of water. So pickling is where, take for instance a cucumber, uh -huh. you take the cucumber and then you take all the water out and then you push the vinegar and sugar back into it. Uh -huh. So in order to do that you need to use salt. Right. And so salt brine is what makes a, makes a cucumber a pickle. So could I just use the salt from my cupboard and no, make a it, salt brine? No, it would not work that way because we have a lot of additives to our table salt to keep it so it doesn't get clumpy. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to have it pour even in the rain. And, right. and so canning salt doesn't have the extra compounds in it that would cause an, a discoloration of your pickle or an un necessary flavor to it. Okay. Uh, it. Food safety wise it would be okay but your pickles would come out really looking pretty disgusting. So you want to look for another kind of right. salt. Right, you need to use what, what they call canning salt and that usually comes uh, in a box, mm -hmm. a square bo rectangular box and it's usually on the bottom shelf of the spice area okay. of the grocery stores. And so canning salt it doesn't have all those additives in it right. and so that that way and the other part of it is that with brining most often brining needs to be rinsed off mm -hmm. and um, in my years of judging in other counties with 4-H projects I've had some rather interesting experiences with brining in that the girls, little girls made uh, dill pickles. So dill pickles would be just the cucumbers right the, the cucumber dill. with the, the dill. traditional pickles right right but what happens is that you need to brine them first then pour off the brine and then add the vinegar to make them dill pickles well these two little girls came up with their grandma and their mom and i knew they were sisters they had mm -hmm. uh, they they had to be sisters and i opened up the first jar of dill pickles and they were soft and gooey no. which to me meant that they had forgotten to um, rinse off the brine. But mm -hmm. being a judge, I always try to encourage the children. So I picked it up and I took a tiny little bite and knew right away that that's what had happened, is that mm -hmm. the brine had not been rinsed off. And so the recipe hadn't been followed the way it should be. And so leaving this brine in with the cucumber and then adding the vinegar and the dill and putting it in a jar and processing it created a mushy mess that tasted oh. like salt. Oh. And so that's the kind of thing we have to remember is that you always rinse the brine or at least drain the brine water off. Brine meaning salt water. So can you explain the process of brining? Sure. Most often brining is done with with either distilled water or soft water. Again, mm -hmm. so we're not adding the extra chemicals and the calcium that we have in our water systems mm -hmm. in Indiana. And then we add the salt according to the recipe as mm -hmm. to how briny it needs to be. And the bigger the cucumber, usually the more brine it takes because it needs to be pulled out of okay. the product. If you're slicing uh, cucumbers off to make say bread and butter pickles mm -hmm. you won't need as as much of a saline solution mm -hmm. which is a brine uh, because you've got less to have to pull the water out of okay and then to make crisp pickles like sweet gherkin pickles mm -hmm. then you also have to add alum to it 
and oh. alum is a magnesium product that will allow the cucumber to stay crisp instead of soft after the brining. Where do you find the alum? Alum is found in the spice spice category or if you're you know going to blooming foods or where you've got bulk mm -hmm. bulk things it will be uh, it's magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate and or so, alum alum a l u m and that will be in your recipe if you're making sweet pickles uh, then that will be in the recipe as part of your brining process okay so it it's there's a lot of chemistry involved mm -hmm. in in pickling a lot more chemistry than when we had our pressure canner Mm -hmm. or our hot water bath segments because there you were just adding fruits or vegetables into the jar and putting them putting them by where now we're going to do a lot of manipulation with the food before we put it in the jar okay. so that we can get the product out that we want when it when it's all finished and so when we talk about these kinds of things we need to follow the recipe do not double the recipe which is my favorite thing to do because mm -hmm. I you know I've got this big basket of cucumbers and I want to get them all done at the same time. Mm -hmm. But in doubling things, you're, you're losing the balance of acid and base. Mm. Even though you may double all the ingredients, you've got contact of the, just like we just talked about, between and a whole dill pickle. Mm -hmm. You've got that air, surface area that you need to consider when you're working with the chemicals or the food pieces that go with the vegetable or fruit that you're, that you're pickling. Okay. So don't double it, but rather just keep making single recipes you can you know push them through the canner double but don't double them in the right you know like if you've got a big crock mm -hmm. don't you know if it's only one recipe it may only be half a crock full don't fill the crock the second time because you're unless you're going to manipulate that food every 20 minutes or so mm -hmm. during that process okay and sometimes it requires ice as a way to help keep things crisp as that. well so again um, I know with these bread and butter pickles um, I have to put the um, canning salt on the cucumbers as I slice them mm -hmm. and the onions and the red and green peppers and then I have to add layers of ice as I go through it oh. so that it keeps it keeps them crisp enough that they won't just get all slimy and gooey by the time we're done with the processing right so again following the recipe the pickled beets are um, even easier to do because you you break off the you don't cut off, but you break off the stems mm -hmm. uh, and leave about that much at the top of the beet so, because mm -hmm. beets bleed. Right, a lot. And so you cook the beet with the skin on it, mm -hmm. keep the tail on it, or the root tap root. Mm -hmm. I, we call it the piggy tails. <laughs> and uh, then take the, the beet tops and either freeze them or can them mm -hmm. uh, so you're not losing the nutrients there. Right. But just break them off, don't cut them off, and then you cook the beets uh, until you can peel the skin. Like okay. we did with peaches. Oh, okay. Like okay. In, a, in a witch's broom. Like in a